Our top story is from the country I am standing in. For the 12th time in one year, Lebanese lawmakers have failed to elect a new president for the country. Now the political deadlock has further escalated the already bad situation. It has paralyzed the country. Economic crisis is driving millions into poverty and still the politicians haven't been able to reach a decision. Now what is the problem and can there be a solution? I bring you this report. سليمان فرنجية 51 جهاد أزعور 59 زياد بارود 6 لبنان الجديد 8 ورقة بيضاء 1 جوزيف عون 1 For the 12th time in almost a year the Lebanese parliamentarians failed to elect their president the West Asian country has seen a political deadlock that has worsened not only its political situation, but also its economy. Lebanon has already been without a head of state for more than seven months. And now, once again, the country has slid deeper into a crisis after political alliances eyeing power neutralized each other's attempt to elect their candidates. What is actually governing is a truce after the civil war. There's no certain agenda that everybody is in line with. So this is why the Maronite president is not a simple task to find. Although the vote ended inconclusively, it did dial down political tensions as both candidates polled almost the same support. But neither had enough backing to get the required two-thirds majority. All 128 Lebanese lawmakers showed up for the election, but many left the chambers right after casting their ballot. Reaching a dead end once again, both alliances took up the route of negotiations, knowing that there is no way one can rule without the support of the other. But the proposed talks, aimed at buying time, also came with its own complications as both parties pushed to install their own candidate. We consider there was an election and each candidate got the number of votes he got. The election of a president needs dialogue. Would you consider a candidate other than Suleiman Frangi? Our candidate is former minister Suleiman Frangi, is our candidate and we call for the dialogue. You can't invite me for your dialogue to say your choice is Suleiman Frangi. Why would I have a dialogue with you to bring me to your side? I am telling you, your choice destroyed my country and this is why you have to change your mind. As the parliament stands fractured, regional observers say that, as in the past, foreign intervention may be required to break the political logjam. Back in 1989, it was Saudi Arabia's mediation that ended the civil war. For a country like Lebanon, when we talk about meddling or foreign meddling in the politics, it's not something new. When the country was formed around 100 years ago, it was foreign powers that agreed. When the country went into civil wars, it was foreign powers that fueled. And when the country went into truce in 1990, it was foreign powers that also governed. Today, everybody thinks that the politicians are only buying time until these foreign powers agree on what to do and how to govern Lebanon. Lebanon's political sources expect that the new rapprochement between Saudi Arabia and Iran could play out soon, but it might not be immediate. As other issues like the Yemen war take precedence, France's new envoy is expected to visit Beirut in the coming days for a mediation effort. Even the U.S. has expressed its concern over the political situation. Lebanon's complex confessional political system and the lack of a clear, unified opposition in parliament have made naming a new leader difficult. While leaders play the chess of governance, it is the Lebanese population that suffers.
They either don't know how to change or don't have the intention to. But the result is one. Lebanon and the Lebanese are the biggest losers. This power vacuum with neither a head of state nor a fully empowered cabinet is unprecedented even for Lebanon, a country that has known little stability since its independence.